So we already know Epic Games and the fact that they love awesome companies. Most of the companies that they purchase, they kind of make them free or they integrate whatever tool that they're purchasing from these companies into their gaming engine. And today's news is no different as the folks at Epic Games have purchased Rad. Rad is a development company or should I say it's a company with tons of tools and it's not going to be surprising if you have no idea what these tools but today we're going to take a look at some of the tool sets that the folks at rad have developed and at the same time take a look at what this actually means to unreal engine so the folks at epic games have purchased these tools and the original goal for them purchasing rad itself is to better unreal engine and for sure it's not going to be surprising if most of you guys don't know what this company is but at one point or the other you might have seen one of their most popular tool set known as blink so what is rad and what does this company do rad is a company that creates development tools for gaming artists and they have a lot of them now one of these tools is the telemetry and this is a profiler that you've always wanted to write by yourself and it's just simply a sophisticated tool set for profiling, tuning, and most importantly, visualizing real-time application performance. Granny 3 d is also a powerful toolkit that they've built for making any kind of interactive 3D application. And this supplies a graphical state machine, which you might have seen in Unity and also in Unreal Engine. And this state machine is for blending any kind of motions that you want. So it does have a graphical editor to help you build your characters, whether you're working in 3D Studio Max, Maya, XSI, or in any of the apps that this currently supports. So Granny definitely makes it very easy for you to export things, process them and animate whatever your artist views. Alongside, they have tools like the OD for compressing data and giving you fast lossless generated data. And they also have the Blink Video Codec for games, which focuses on high compression and speed rendering. And this is mostly used for both consoles and also for the PCs. Now, alongside with the tool sets that they have, they also have the Miles Sound System. And this is a sophisticated and robust system that you will definitely want to take a look at if you're into developing games and you're into sound design for games. So all of these are very heavy duty like tool set that the folks at Rad have developed over the years and they're still maintaining this up to this point. So we already know that the folks at Epic Games, they do have a lot of award winning titles and it just makes sense to see a tool like this and they would want to get it. And during the acquisition, the folks at Rad are saying that our work with Epic Games goes back decades and joining forces is a natural next step given the alignment on product, mission and also culture. They went on to say that we are excited and humbled to join the amazing Epic Games team. And for a company like epic games with super cool tools and wonderful product and business goodwill over the years it's quite evident that they might have taken to the rat team at one point or the other and actually acquiring the rat team doesn't stop them from doing anything that they were doing before as in their benevolence the folks at epic games would still allow the rat team to continue supporting other game industry clients and those who are using and not even using the Unreal Engine. So during the acquisition, they did state something like this, saying that Rad will continue supporting their game industry, film, television partners with their sales and business development team, maintaining and selling licenses for their product to companies across the industry. So this is actually interesting. And this is lovely. And you know, ultimately, while the folks at Rad will be developing and also giving out support and services to other game companies and clients it is just there that the folks at epic games will get all of the rad tools heavily implemented into the unreal ecosystem and also in the engine but one thing is for sure that the folks at epic games are looking at ways that the unreal engine will not only be the most powerful gaming engine in terms of visualization but at the same time be the most unified in terms of functionality and development across the entire tool and platform and while we speak about the tools and functionalities that the folks at Epic Games would like to integrate into Unreal Engine, there is actually an Epic Games roadmap Trello, which you can go and see what is being visualized that will be features coming over to Unreal Engine sooner than later. So in case you want to take a look at some of the things that will be coming, of course, we've seen a couple of these ones being teased and some of them have also made their first debut in Unreal Engine 4.26 and we did cover a couple of these so I'm going to 
gonna put a link in the description where you can check that out and you can also check out some of the videos that we've talked about on real engine on the channel you would see that some of these features are now coming in and this acquisition is actually something that would be acceptable as a preparation for future release of the unreal engine 5 and this has a huge set of potentials so we've seen the demo we've seen the trailer we've seen all of these things and the folks at epic games are acquiring as much companies as they can just to secure the fact that you know unreal engine becomes very stable and at the same time becomes that powerhouse tool that lots of people would use in previous months we did see that they acquired the hypersense for facial performance and also we saw that they acquired super awesome which has been a pioneer for kid tech market and this is a, this is a company that gives out tools to developers in terms of making and creating safe digital content for the younger audience so in terms of games and digital content the folks at super awesome have always you know given out tools to developers to help them create some wonderful tools so for anyone who wants to read about these things or maybe you want to take a look at the videos of things that we've covered before i'm going to put a link to that in the description so you can do well to check that out meanwhile we also did talk about the folks at epic games reeling out loads and loads of free content for people and we made a video about that i'm going to link that in the description and for sure this is actually a good thing so epic games are not just purchasing companies killing them off but they are purchasing companies retaining staff members and allowing them run simultaneously and this is uh this is very very cool we did see the purchase of hair and four and it makes sense to see that you know with that purchase we are seeing that the hair system is now in unreal engine and hopefully all of these rad tools will definitely come over to Unreal Engine pretty soon. Owing to the fact that, you know, rad already has lots and lots of stuff. I can't wait to see the granny 3D show up to, you know, Unreal Engine. And at the same time, I cannot wait to see that we get the mild sounds, the OD, and also blink. And real quick before we go, I would like to use this opportunity to do a very tiny announcement. We might be having a competition or a simple challenge within this month or next month but definitely this will be coming very soon so i'm presently in talks with a couple of developers and also with a couple of companies to see which of them is going to sponsor this and in case you want to join this simply keep your eye open in the notification or join the discord so that you get notified once this goes live and hopefully we would get a couple of discounts or prizes or something but once this goes live you guys would be the first to know so for anyone who wants to read about these things link is going to be in the description you want to join Join any of the stuff link is going to be in the description where you can join us on discord tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace